We are standing here in Geldingadalur, where an eruption started four days ago. This crater behind me and all the black lava is basically a brand new creation of the Earth. The eruption is situated here in a valley with slopes surrounding it, creating almost like a Greek theater for people to sit in to look at the eruption. Iceland is one of the most geologically active places on Earth. On average, there is a volcanic eruption every four to five years. The eruption in March is much less destructive than some of the previous ones. It is also accessible to the public, with only an easy drive and a relatively short hike from the country's capital. I think in some ways we can call this the perfect tourist eruption. Um, I mean, the, the lava is not going very far. It seems to pile up here in this valley. And it's fairly easy to walk uh, for most people. Um, the concerns are really about the gas. Like everybody coming here has to be make a decision uh, for themselves if, if it's a wise day to go hiking or not, depending on how the winds are blowing. And if the winds are not blowing at all, then uh, people need to keep away from, from the lows in the landscape. It's breathtaking. It's amazing, it's amazing, absolutely amazing. You can feel the warmth of the lava up here, so even though it's, you know, it's quite cold, but you just go a little bit uh, closer to the lava and then you're immediately warm again. It's amazing, it's uh, like nothing else. It's like we've never seen anything like this. It's kind of intense, it's really warm. You go close and like, yeah, it's awesome. Already thousands of people have flocked out here to see the eruption for themselves. These are mostly local people, as the pandemic has pretty much put a lid on tourism. One can only imagine how packed the place would be if this would be happening in a world not plagued by the coronavirus. In fact, many are hoping that the eruption will be a beneficial advertisement for the country when tourism resumes. It's like the most touristy attraction in the world. We were actually discussing it just earlier. So you think it's going to attract a lot of tourists to come to Iceland? I yeah. hope so. I hope yeah. so. It's good for Iceland. Mm. <laughs> How long do we expect this to be going on? We have no idea. <laughs> uh, I guess that's the most honest answer. But um, I mean, the the eruptions on Reykjanes Peninsula, they have usually been only been for a few weeks, a few days, a few weeks. So it's quite possible that we are now entering a period of uh, recurrent activity, volcanic activity. And actually this is what we've been seeing. So even though there's only one eruption, we've been seeing repeated magmatic intrusions in different locations on the Reykjanes Peninsula.